So what, what we'll do is we'll role play uh, once and then we'll jump right on the phone. We're going to get on the phone and see about this seller call. Okay. Crestview uh, Lane. Okay. Carson, Virginia. It's ringing. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Hi, this is Justin Chamness. Um, I'm calling about a property at uh, 2430 Crestview Lane. Is this the right place? Yes. Okay, excellent. Well, hey, uh, what, what's your first name, sir? Uh, Jason. Okay, Jason. Um, well, I'm a real estate investor, Jason, and I'm actually looking for, okay. I'm looking to get another investment property. And uh, okay. I saw this one on Zillow. And it looked kind of yeah. interesting to me, so I thought I'd call you and ask you a few questions. You could ask me a few questions Absolutely. too. And uh, if if uh, if I seem uninteresting to you, man, it's okay to tell me no. <laughs> you fire, fire me right away. I'm a, I'm a big boy. I can take it. <laughs> so anyway, um, okay, great. Um, well, first of all, tell me, man. It it looks like a a pretty decent piece of property. Uh, what what's how long you you live there and uh, why are you selling it? Yeah. I I actually built the house in 2009. Um, uh, yeah, the family lived there and all that stuff and built it. And through a divorce, uh, I've ended up with the property myself. And, of course, yeah, being separated for a year, I went and found another property. that yeah, And this one came back to me. So I went back in there and you know, cleaned it up, fixed it up. And I'm like, hey, I got equity in that. I might as well sell that and, yeah. and do yeah, see, see, that's where, I, where I'm sitting with it. I'm just like, you know, I know it's getting to the end of the – because yeah, I do a little bit. I don't, I'm not like a landlord or have a bunch of properties or anything, but I yeah. have bought and sold several yeah. in the past and, and kind of do a little bit of you know, investing in a way. I do contractor work, fixing up houses on the side. Too, okay. So, yeah, I'm at the end of the season, man. I'm just – I'm literally meeting tomorrow a realtor to list it uh, or to oh. talk to them about listing it. Okay. To try to get this thing sold, yeah, because you kind of need to need to get some of that equity out of it, is what I'm, I what I'm trying to do. I see. So um, you're looking to do something uh, right away. Yeah, that that's my intent. And I, to be honest with you, I've met with two other local investors uh, here in the Richmond area, and and both of them were wanting to lease to own or rent to own, do something along those yeah. lines, and. Well, hey, that would get me out of paying the mortgage if I can't sell it. Yeah. Um, I really, I really need to get some of that equity out of this house. I see. Um, what, just, what, just to pay off some of these other debts and stuff. What are you asking for the place, and what do you think it's worth? Well, I know one of my neighbors just sold his house, which is an older house. It does have some uh, a metal building out back in the pond, which I don't have. It is about 10 years older than mine. Um, and not nearly as upgraded on the inside. He just sold it literally right across the street, across the gravel drive from me for four twenty seven or something like that. Um, okay. I think he was asking four forty for his. Um, I mean, where? So right now, Zilla for sale by owner. I've had it sitting at four hundred just to uh, you know to try to generate mm -hmm. that interest before I go to an agent. When I go to an agent, I'm probably going to list. Yeah, you know, up there with with where he yeah, was just yeah. for to try to recoup some of that commissions. Sure, I understand that. Okay, um, yeah, it sounds like uh, sounds like you've thought this through and um, and you're ready to to do something right away. And that 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 part of it suits me. Uh, being, being a real estate investor uh, myself, like like you, I'm looking mm -hmm. I'm looking to make a profit in in it somewhere. So. Right. Um, I'm, I don't know what, how, how would I do that paying cash? <laughs> That's, Ooh, I, you know, I've, I've never been in that, that position. <laughs> so, okay. I don't know. I mean, you I, know, it, it's one of those deals where, you know, it, it's all said and done, you know, very little closing costs without having the agents and all this other stuff. And it's yeah. kind of, you know, I mean, where are you located? Could you come look at it and, and just see before? Yeah, well, I, I'm based out of Kansas City, and uh, that's where I live. It's where I work. It's where my office is. But I invest all around, and um, 
And so I thought I would ask you a few questions and you could ask me. And then if it's something that seems like we could maybe do something with, I'd send some, some boots on the ground out there then. But, um, hmm, you know, you got me, you got me, man. Um, because I, I would like to, I, I, I think what the other guys were saying to you makes a lot of sense. And I, I would like to do the same thing, but you already told them fellas, no. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just can't do that because I'm trying to get that. I really like to sell and get out and get that equity yeah. and, you know, I get back to zero and all this stuff I got left with. So okay. that, that's my intent there. Um, and then I, yeah, I have to say, I'm going to be kind of, I'm going to be firm on that. I did have a couple, couple of guys and wanted to rent to own for like six months to a year. Oh. And you know, my, my position is, is put it on the market. I've got an agent that's going to list it for me for three months. If I don't sell in three months, I'm going to take it off the market. I'm going to rent it and wait till next spring, do some more upgrades to it, and put it back on the market. And I'll just keep doing that till I sell it, you know? Okay. Yeah, I understand where you're coming from, man. Hey, dude, I, I really appreciate the time you spent with me, man, and, and answering my questions. And uh, if, I can come up with, if I can come up with something good for you, I'll let you know. But I, I, I don't think I probably will. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, mean, I understand as an investor. Okay. I totally get that. Okay, um, man. You know, if it was – if it was all beat up and run down, it probably yeah. would be a gold mine yeah. for you. But, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I've spent a lot of time. I've spent the last two months in there breaking back, you know, all yeah. night, most of the day, all weekends, you know, getting it back into pristine condition to try to get top dollar for it. So, well, man, I you hope know, you get the, top. The, I hope you get With the exception of paying the commissions on that deal, you know, I'm probably hold pretty firm. Isn't that crazy? On a $450,000 house, you know what the commission is? Wow. That, that's why this is the <laughs> first time I've tried to do for sale by owner because, you know, the stuff I've done before, it's been $150,000, $200,000 houses. Yeah. To me, worth the effort that they spend that I don't have to spend in my time, but that effort's still fairly equivalent when we're talking about this size house. Yeah. And, you know, it's just painful to think that, you know, twenty twenty to $25,000 is going to go to somebody where I've already got. Yeah, I could do some better pictures when I'm finished with all the work in there and everything and stage sure. it and do all that myself. Sure. And, you know, what are they doing? I'm just I'm paying $25,000 to get access to MLS. Right, yeah, exactly. It. It's a racket. It's a racket, bro. <laughs> yeah. It is. I understand it. I get it, but it is. <laughs> well, hey, man, I wish you a good day. Thank you, sir. We'll, we might be yeah, in touch. Yeah, take care. If, if something, if you see it on Zillow in, in six, eight months, give me a call back. <laughs> okay, I will. I will. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. All right. No problem. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, George. Did you see that I went through the three stages? Yeah, I saw that, but it was kind of it was pretty smooth, though. Smooth, but I've been practicing. See, that's the only difference is you're, you're getting geared up for the dress rehearsal. I'm already on stage. So <laughs> not much difference between you and I, other than I've got a little bit more practice time in. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing. Okay. Now motivation level on a scale of one to 10, where was this cat? Oh, he was sitting down there at like a, when three. we started, when we started. Oh, when we started. Oh yeah. He was ready. He was ready to roll. He was like at an eight. Yeah. 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 But now during the qualification time, I started asking him questions. I started turning the screw a little bit. You saw how I did that. And he just start, he just opened up, didn't he? Oh well, here's the real deal, and all, and blah blah. And I did this to it. I'm just gonna do that. If I gotta get, and I gotta get that equity. That's really the only reason why I'm doing it. So he's telling me he's motivated, but he's not the right kind of motivated. So eventually, he slid from an eight down to a what? A freaking one or two. Yeah, like a two, maybe three. Yeah, and so. I ended up just wrapping the phone call up with him because that house did not qualify for a, he, he was not interested in a lease with a purchase option and he was not interested in a, uh, a reduced cash offer. Right. Right. So, so that lead, no good really. But like he said, follow up with me in eight months. If you still, if you still see it there, call me back, please. Yeah, I wrote so, down. Yeah, so you know, you never know. Like I've said before, sometimes my phone rings and it's somebody I talked to a homeowner six months ago or a year ago. Okay. Right. And, and they're just now motivated. Hey, thanks for watching. But don't forget to post, introduce yourself, 
tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.